Many military operations rely on minute details to fall into place. If a weapon is not operational or a service member is using a piece of equipment that actually has been suspended, this can lead to injuries, unsuccessful missions, and lives being put at risk. Security sectors can stand out strong if adequate material needed is in place. Therefore, the People's Republic of China donates equipment to the Gambia Armed Forces through its embassy in the Gambia. This includes eight double cabin pickups, two single cabin pickups, mini trucks, two water tank trucks, two vehicle lifters, one container, and one ambulance. Deputy Chief of Defense Staff Major General Mamat Ocham explains how helpful the donation will be to the Gambia Armed Forces. This donation is a fulfillment of a pledge by the government of the People's Republic of China to help the Gambia Armed Forces in its efforts at preparing troops for possible deployment into a UN United Nations Peace Support Operations mission in the context of a quick reaction force. We stand proudly to, to say that the partnership with our Chinese friends have been very helpful in the security sector reform that we have been embarking. And I'm so this is testimony to that fact. Also, the Chinese ambassador, His Excellency Louis Jin, says the reason for the donation of the equipment to the Gambia is to strengthen socio-economic development as the two nations are peaceful. Mr. Jin says the Gambia has been actively participating in peacekeeping operations, which results them to benefit from their assistance. Defense Minister Serin Modinjai describes the donation as timely and thank the partners for the valuable support on equipment and military trainings for capacity building. The donation of these items is timely as the Gambia Armed Forces is preparing to de deploy in UN peacekeeping operations. And the donated items will significantly boost GAP peacekeeping capacity and capabilities. The lack of good and sustained patrol vessels for the Gambia Navy has also seriously impeded the ability of the Gambia to police our territorial waters to prevent piracy, banditry at, at sea, human trafficking, organized crimes, and other crimes of transnational nature. Safety and security lies in the heart of the prosperity of any nation. Citizens want to feel safe and secure. In recent generations, security is challenged in all aspects of daily livelihoods, and trust in the institutions that should keep citizens safe. It's low. Basiruka for N24 News.